Let's learn more about the common birds at your bird feeder. This video counts down the 10 most common feeder birds in the state. For each species, we discuss range, habitat, behavior, identification, and the foods they eat at your bird feeder. Let's get right to it. Allen's Hummingbird. Allen's Hummingbirds are summer residents of coastal California. They are very similar to the widespread Rufus Hummingbirds. There is a year-round resident population in coastal Southern California, including the offshore islands. Otherwise, Allen's Hummingbirds are summer residents along the narrow coastal strip along the entire California coastline, barely into southwestern Oregon. They winter in the interior of Mexico. In Southern California, their habitats include coastal sage chaparral. In Northern California, they are found in broad-leafed evergreen shrubs in the damp conifer forests. They are early migrants arriving along the California coast as soon as the local flowers bloom in January and February. These birds are fierce fighters at the hummingbird feeder. They chase and battle any and all other hummingbirds, even driving off the larger resident Anna's hummingbirds. These are very small birds. They are round-bodied with barely any neck. The tail is short and pointed. The legs are so short that only the tiny feet are visible exiting the body feathers. The bill is very long, thin, and tubular. Males are rufous colored above with green backs and dark wings. The throat is brilliant iridescent red. The underparts are deep cinnamon with a white neck collar. Females and young in fall are green above with rufous at the base of the tail. The throat is spotted with green in neat rows. The underparts are cinnamon with a white neck collar. Allen's hummingbirds are highly attracted to hummingbird feeders and flower gardens. Acorn Woodpecker The faces of acorn woodpeckers remind many people of clowns. These birds are year-round residents in California and western Oregon and in mountains from Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas south into Mexico. They are dependent on oak trees, usually requiring more than one species of oak to assure a plentiful supply of acorns, their main food source. They are often found in pine oak woodlands as well as pure oak stands. They are tolerant of people and can be found in campgrounds or school campuses or business parks within the oak habitat. These noisy colonial birds spend the entire day storing acorns in the bark of trees or sides of buildings. They wedge the acorns into pre-drilled holes. The acorns shrink as they dry, but before the stored acorns get too loose and the squirrels get them, the woodpeckers move them to a new hole where they'll fit more tightly. They rarely leave the area of their granary and defend their winter food source vigorously. These birds are a bit larger than starlings. They have a stocky body, big head, and short, stiff, wedge-shaped tail. The bill is long and chisel-shaped. Genders are nearly identical in plumage. They are black above and white below with a wide black band across the chest. They have white rumps and wing patches. The face pattern is unique. The front of the face and throat is white. Black encircles the bill. There is also black ear patch that starts at the white eye. Males have a white forehead and red crown. Females have a white forehead and black crown that is red toward the back of the head. Acorn woodpeckers may visit your suet feeder and will also eat sunflower seeds. White Crown Sparrow White crown sparrows are large sparrows and fairly distinctive. These birds are summer residents in the boreal forests of Canada and Alaska and mountains of the west. There is even a year-round resident population in coastal California. In winter, these birds can be found across much of the United States except for northern parts of the northeast, midwest, and Great Plains. In summer, they are found in shrubby habitat and forest edges. In winter, they are found in roadside thickets, weedy fields, and suburban backyards. Across their range, they differ subtly in plumage, but even local populations have different song dialects that have been much studied. These birds are longer than house sparrows by about an inch, but have smaller heads and thinner bodies and longer tails. The bill is short and pointed with a wide base. The color of the bill ranges from dusky yellow to pink, depending upon population. The upper parts of some birds are light brown with dark brown back streaks. Others are brown with lighter gray streaks. Their neck and breast is gray, slightly paler on the throat. 
The flanks on some populations are dingy brown, cleaner gray on others. The wings are brown, showing thin white wing bars. The head is distinctively marked with black and white stripes. Genders are colored the same. At bird feeders, white-crowned sparrows tend to eat smaller seeds, such as millet, spilled out on the ground. But they will eat from platform feeders and hopper feeders with wide trays. Song Sparrow Song sparrows are widespread across North America. These birds summer from southern Alaska and across Canada to the Ohio River Valley and in the west to southern California and Arizona. In winter, most birds leave Canada and the northern Great Plains, except for a population in western Canada. The winter birds push south to Florida and Texas into northern Mexico. These birds are found in a wide variety of brushy habitats. They are found in open woodlands, marshes, and backyards landscaped with large bushes and brambles. They spend a lot of time hopping on the ground looking for food. They eat insects and invertebrates in summer, but mostly seeds in winter. They are a bit smaller than house sparrows. They have a round body, round head, and longer tail with a rounded tip. The bill is triangular, short and thick at the base. Across their range, these birds show much variation. Desert birds are paler. Northwestern birds are dark and reddish. Alaskan birds are much larger. In general, they are gray, streaked with brown, with breast streaks forming a center spot on the breast. The pattern of the head is complex, but rather diagnostic. The white throat is bordered by a flaring lateral throat stripe. Genders are identical. Song sparrows will visit platform feeders, but more likely stay under dense bushes, venturing out on the ground below the feeders. Lesser goldfinches are the southwestern counterparts of the more northerly American goldfinches. These birds are year-round residents from southwestern Washington, south through California to Texas, and south into South America. In summer, they move northward from central Oregon to Colorado. They are found in oak woodlands, weedy fields, chaparral, and desert habitats, especially near water, but also residential areas. These birds are found in flocks through most of the year, pairing up in spring. Find them near sources of water. They often feed on flower seeds and even dandelion seeds right on the ground. They are much smaller than house sparrows. They are smaller even than American goldfinches. They have long bodies and short forked tails. The head is quite round. The bill is triangular, short and pointed with a broad base. Males are entirely bright yellow below. The wings are blackish with a pale lower wing bar and broad white wing bases to the primaries. The upper parts vary. Western males are green above with a black cap. Texas birds tend to have entirely black upper parts. Many are somewhat in between. Unlike American goldfinches, the plumage of lesser goldfinches remains bright all year long. Females and immatures are rather brownish green above, yellowish below. They have pale edges on the wing coverts and tertials. At your feeder, lesser goldfinches love niger seed and black oil sunflower seeds. They are also attracted to bird baths. California Scrub Jay California scrub jays are one of the four species recently split off from the former single scrub jay species. These are year-round residents along the west coast from Washington State to the southern Baja Peninsula. Their primary habitat is scrubby oak woodlands. They frequent residential backyards. These birds are active and noisy. They hop when foraging on the ground. In fall, they cache food by burying and hiding nuts and seeds. These birds are about the size of American robins. They have a strong body and big head. The legs are fairly long and strong. They have a long, full tail. The bill is long, stout, strong, curved near the tip. The wings and tail are blue. The crown is blue, and there is a partial blue necklace on the chest. The back is dark gray. They have a black facial mask bordered above with a thin white eyebrow line. The throat is white and the underparts are pale gray. Genders appear the same. At feeders, California scrub jays are fond of sunflower seeds, suet, and nuts. Morning Dove 
The mournful summer song of morning doves is familiar to most, even if they don't know what bird makes the sound. They are found across the United States as year-round residents. Birds summer in the northern Great Plains and south-central Canada, but withdraw in the winter. These birds are found in towns and farms, an open country with scattered trees, often along rivers. In spring, they sing from power lines in residential areas. They may puff out their chests while cooing from the peak of your roof. These birds are much larger than European starlings, but also much smaller than American crows. These birds have large, powerful breasts, a tiny round head on thin neck, and long pointed tail. Their wings are somewhat pointed in flight. The bill is small as typical for all pigeons. Genders are identical. These birds are warm tan or brown colored. The breast has a pinkish hue. The wings are gray. They have a few large black spots on the wing cover. They have a black spot on the side of the neck below the cheek that sometimes shows some iridescent green. The tail has white edges, best seen in flight. At your bird feeder, morning doves eat all types of seeds. They are also attracted to water for drinking and bathing. California Toey California towhees are rather plain looking but common birds in backyards. These birds are year-round residents in California and the Baja Peninsula. They are found primarily in Chaparral, but they have adapted to residential backyards where they thrive. They spend much of their time on the ground scratching in the leaf litter for invertebrate food. Large sparrow-like birds, they are longer than red-winged blackbirds but smaller than American robins. They have plump bodies, the head is small and round, the tail is long and wide with a rounded end. The bill is stout and conical. The plumage of both genders is similar. They are dusty brown with a tawny color in the throat and face. The undertail coverts are rusty. California towhees will visit low platform feeders to eat mixed seeds. Anna's Hummingbird Anna's Hummingbirds are the resident hummingbird on the west coast, remaining through the winter when all the other hummingbirds have migrated south. These hummingbirds are year-round residents from southern British Columbia south to southern California and Arizona. They live wherever winter temperatures don't stay below freezing for more than a week at a time. They are summer residents to the east of the Cascades and Sierra Nevada mountains and occasional winter visitors from southeastern Arizona to Texas. They are early nesters, late December into May. They have expanded from their historic coastal California range to follow winter blooming landscaping and hummingbird feeders north and east. They are still expanding their range. Males are unusual in singing from an exposed perch. The song is a rising and falling buzzy squeaking lasting seven seconds or more. These are larger than ruby-throated rufous and black-chinned hummingbirds, but still smaller than most other birds. As with most hummingbirds, they have a large round head that sits without obvious neck on a plump body. The tail is short. When perched, the tail often extends slightly beyond the wingtips. The bill is long, thin, tubular, and rather straight. Both genders are green above, and the underparts are gray, generously speckled with green on the flanks. Males in full breeding plumage have an iridescent pink throat, face, and crown. The edge of the throat feathers may flare out, Immature males have the ruby pink restricted to the throat and advancing over the forehead. Females have gray throats, usually with a patch of iridescent green feathers in the lower center. They feed on spiders and insects and nectar, especially hummingbird feeders. House Finch House finches used to be only found in the west, but are now common at feeders coast to coast. These are year-round residents across the United States and Mexico. As their name suggests, they are common in residential yards across the United States. They are also found in canyon lands in the West. They are rare or absent in extensive grasslands or high mountains. These birds are found in flocks throughout the year. They give lively, warbled song and chirps. They may feed on the ground, but when frightened, they fly up into the higher parts of a tree to keep an eye on the intruder. Similar looking sparrows will dive into the nearest low cover and hide. House finches are smaller birds, a bit smaller than the widespread house sparrows. They often appear long and slim with a rounded head and medium long tail that has a shallow notch. The bill is short and thick at the base. The upper ridge of the bill is curved. 
Males are streaky gray-brown on the upper part. The sides and flanks are streaked broadly with brown lines. These red-headed finches have red or red-orange concentrated on their foreheads and eyebrow stripe, upper chest, and rump. Females are rather streaky, as the males, without any red color. Their head is evenly marked with short streaks throughout, not showing any pattern. House finches love black oil sunflower seeds from tube feeders. There you have it, the 10 most common feeder birds in the state. My channel page has playlists covering bird watching, bird identification, and interesting nature facts. Details are in the description below. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and enjoy your feeder birds.